Hi there everyone and welcome to LCPE exam tips for the 2025 paper. Um, I'm just going to bring you through some potential questions and areas for you to study for this year's exam. Um, but before we do that, uh, on the left you can see um, you can use 2025 tips for a 10% off a package on examrevision.ie. So the exam takes place on Friday the 20th of June at 2 p.m. and it is two and a half hours in length and will finish at 4.30. Uh, the marks awarded for the exam make up 50% of the total grade for LCPE. So as you know, your PAP and your PA are already in the bank, um, totaling up to 50%. So it's this last 50% you have to fight for. Uh, the exam is broken down into three sections. We have the short questions. We have the case study questions, and then we also have the long questions also. Okay, so before we go into uh, more with LCP, uh, just the complete revision package that uh, exam revision have. Um, so as I've mentioned already, your discount code is on the side. Um, so by signing up to exam revision, you get access to lots of different videos on every topic for various different subjects that make it a lot easier for you to learn. So we're going to take a look at that now. So the complete revision package, you can get on demand video tutorial grinds 24 seven uh, with for the every single subject, if you like, bite sized video tutorial grinds, PowerPoint presentations, H1 or distinction notes, exam and mock paper questions, all marking schemes, quizzes, a reflection log, and then smart adaptive technology to guide your learning also so again uh, on the website currently 2025 tips is your discount code for 10 percent off package so on exam revision there's eight junior cycle subjects all subjects with exam papers and marking schemes and you can see that they're they're all there fully completed and for leaving cert there's 21 leaving cert subjects fully completed all the way there on the left hand side of the screen you can have a look so they're all ready for you to access so i'm going to show you a little bit now on the exam revision website i'm going to log into my profile and give you a look at what that looks like so i've logged into my exam revision profile and here you can see the subjects that you are subscribed to so i'm just going to click into pe so along the top, you can see your progress tracker, um, your revision streak, the videos you've watched and quizzes completed. And then underneath you have your exam questions and marking schemes uh, and some past papers, which is very handy. So as you can see, all topics, all 10 topics are included. Uh, for this year, we know it's topics one to eight in the 2025 paper, but they're all there as well as the PAP and PA tips, as well as some additional tips about the exam. But if I just go into one of the areas of learning, so I'm going to go into topic one and we'll do planes, axes and levers. So the video tutorials will load there on planes, axes and levers. Um, you can watch them in your own time. Uh, your presentations, um, your H1 notes are also there on the top uh, as, long, as well as your quizzes and then exam questions there as well. Okay, so you can see the exam questions there and even marking scheme there as well. So really useful tool for when you're revising. Um, some days you might want to just look at notes. Other days you might need some motivation and watch a video. Uh, and then other times you might try and assess your learning with the uh, quizzes and the exam questions at the end. So that's what it looks like uh, in the Leaventer PE package. So here are some student reviews on the screen. You can read through them yourself. And once again, a reminder to use the 2025 tips for 10% off. So looking at June 2025 in Leaving Cert PE, these are some potential questions that uh, may appear. Uh, they have came up before, but they're, they are very, very common um, to feature, especially in the year that it is the year following the Olympics. So Olympic Games may feature. There might be some stimulus to a question there. And um, so it might be handy just to be knowledgeable about especially Irish athlete success in the um, Paris Olympic Games 
Anti-doping comes up a lot. Um, some famous football players have been caught up in doping scandals in recent times. So again, uh, expect that to, to appear. Anything to do with optimizing performance, whether that's training, diet, nutrition, psychological preparation, very, very common question. Uh, technology and its use in sport, also quite uh, common, um, especially with the controversy around VAR uh, at the moment in the Premier League. Vector scalers, planes, axes and levers, uh, very common to come up in a short question or in a section B. And then physical activity promotion tends to come up. So the ways that physical activity is promoted, what guidelines are there around physical activity for everyone in Ireland, and um, the role of national governing bodies in promoting physical activity and that kind of thing. So there are areas to take a look at. Uh, when you're revising, you'll, you'll notice these action verbs. So these are um, the kind of question terms that will appear on the Leave and Cert paper. Um, I'm going to just draw your attention to level two here. Quite common that this level three and two come up a lot. And then the higher order questions are up there, level six. But it is important to know what the question is actually asking you to do. Um, so, for example, identify. So recognize patterns, facts or details. Provide an answer from a number of possibilities. Recognize and state briefly a distinguishing factor feature. So basically what that is asking you to do is name and explain. So identify a test for flexibility, uh, so a fitness test. You would need to name it and give it a little brief uh, description on how to do the test. It's not enough to just say the back saver sit and reach test. You do need to um, guarantee your marks by ex explaining it also. Um, even things like compare, so you need to have a look at the two sides uh, in the situation in the question uh, that's an area that students can fall down in but um, feel free to pause the screen or screenshot the action verbs uh, so that you know what the question is actually asking you to do so these are some exam trends now um, so we have from 24 all the way back to 2020 um, and you can see a lot of different things come up um, throughout the years but very commonly, nearly every year, there are planes, axes, levers, Newton's laws, vectors, and scalars. I'd really uh, revise that. Nutrition, dehydration, fitness testing, uh, and training, health-related and performance-related fitness. Uh, the role of the coach is quite broad, so feedback, motivation, structure, strategies, types of training. A question can be phrased under the guise of what role does a coach have in maintaining motivation of an athlete or uh, doing a training plan for example or providing feedback uh, types of physical activity so that is what is leisure recreation what is sport what is physical education you need to know those terms the benefits of physical activity so that would be your social benefits physical benefits and um, that kind of thing for, for different year groups so for older people and younger people mental preparation supplements anti-doping very common adapted physical activity it didn't come up recently because it hasn't been um, prescribed but this year you know it's um, topics one to six are mandatory and then topic seven and eight and adapted physical activity is in topic seven so expect that to come up media and technology uh, again that's in topic eight so expect that to come up um, and that, that could take various different forms um, types of practice periodization and, and the list goes on there so uh, if I was you, I'd be looking back through these trends. Um, really, everything on the list there is is worth uh, another revision, but you can focus your um, attention to some of the key common areas there. So looking at section B and C then, so the case study uh, tend to vary from year to year based on activities uh, that would not be widely participated in. So um, even if you haven't played that sport or participated in that activity, uh, the questions tend to be quite general and not specifically on the stimulus in the case study. Um, so, for example, marathon running, heptathlon, tennis, rowing and track running most recently have come up in the case studies. Uh, but the questions can be very general and um, they might ask you to give some examples from the case study, but um, really you don't need to be an expert in that sport to answer the question so don't worry if something comes up from a sport or an activity that you don't have much experience in just focus in on what the question is asking you um section c multifaceted so lots of different choice there 
many topics can be included in the one question and it's up to you at the start of the paper when you're reading through the exam to select the question that you think that you can answer the best where your strengths lie so in that first five minutes of the exam you're reading through the exam uh, looking at your section c maybe highlighting three of the five long questions that you um, would like to answer later in the paper and that is hugely important um, and fully read the question as well because sometimes section b could be linked on uh, section a of, of the the long question so um, part one of a question might be on fitness testing and then part two might also be on fitness testing but you have to specifically answer it on on one of the examples that you've said so read through the full question really so that you're prepared um section b in a little bit more detail so like i said don't be put off a question comes up with lots of detail graphs charts that's quite common read back over some of the previous exam um questions on section b and you'll get a, a good understanding of of that the case study so far being on minority sports as i mentioned but the questions are always based on the theory that you've learned so it could be from a physical activity of your choice you can answer the question on not necessarily on the one that's uh, on the paper you must show an ability to apply the knowledge you have to different sports so you might learn a little bit about gamesmanship and you might have studied in class gamesmanship in soccer but you should have in your back pocket some other examples of gamesmanship in other sports and there, there could be a uh, commonality so with say rugby gaelic football soccer all invasion games um, diving or conning a referee might be common in all of those sports so um, have have a bit of a broad knowledge on um, how you can apply your answer to different sports and then this one I've just put in at the end uh, read the sports news a year out from the exam so think about um, last summer and what was going on so the Olympics was in full swing and um, so there there might be and even some um, scandals with anti-doping might have been on back then you don't need to know the detail of it but just when they're designing a paper they like to keep it as current as possible so expect that to appear in some shape or form on the paper so some general tips and avoiding pitfalls so this one here answer the question so again that is probably the most common thing teachers will say in every subject but we have our action verbs which you spoke about define explain and examine identify know what they mean before you attempt the question learn your definition so what is a skill what is ability what's the difference between them that kind of thing uh, rules roles rituals what are they um, what is physical education what is sport uh, what is leisure recreation have those learnt off so that you're ready to, to answer when they come up Defining a skill performance, quite a common question. So um, take a look at that uh, and the marking scheme will help you design an answer to that. Skill and ability, what's the difference? So energy systems, have knowledge of your three energy systems and supplements and how uh, different sports rely on them or how you can train them. Planes, axes, levers, vectors and scalars. This can be quite tricky to look back through. A lot of biomechanics there, um, but maybe have a look at the videos on exam revision uh, to do with those areas. Make sure to provide enough key details in your answers. So strike a balance between key terms that the examiner wants to see versus too much unneeded waffle. So plenty of examples if you get a chance. Um, and if you have a lot of lines that you answer needs to be written in and there's a lot of a, a blank spaces towards the end, that's a bad sign for the examiner that you haven't uh, given enough detail. So um, make sure to give enough detail in your answers and use as much of the space as you can without waffling too much. Uh, practice exam and mock questions in the lead up to the exam day. Uh, many of you might have a few days off between your Leaving Cert P exam and your previous exam. So during those times, you should be practicing exam and mock questions and use the marking scheme to correct your answers. And then finally, a almost most importantly have a plan in place for your timing so um, how long are you going to spend reading the paper at the start how long are you going to give to your short questions um, are you going to do all 12 and your best 10 will be marked or are you going to pick and choose uh, your section b how are you going to attack that and then uh, your identification of your three long questions 
out of the possible five in section C, uh, how long is each one going to take you? So really have a good plan in place um, for that um, and kind of find out your own timing there really because people work at different speeds. But remember, you will be tight for time. It is a two and a half hour exam. So there's some general tips for you to take on board. Okay, so uh, finally, some revision areas for this summer. Learning a skill, anti-doping, diet, nutrition, supplements and energy systems, artistic and aesthetic performances and optimizing performance. Just on these last two here, so um, artistic and aesthetic performances. So that's your dance and gymnastics, uh, synchronized swimming. What do those events have and how do you gain points and how do you have a successful performance versus something that um, maybe isn't aesthetically pleasing? Uh, but is there comparison between the two so even a sport like soccer uh, you don't have to look pretty to score a goal but uh, it might be appealing to an audience if an overhead kick or a chip shot goes in for example um artistic is more your creative side of things so uh, not really as much beauty but creativity in your performance yes it might look good but things like snowboarding or skateboarding can be quite artistic and um the performer can use various different skills to score points, um, but both artistic and aesthetic performances can get docked marks by making mistakes uh, and penalties. Uh, optimizing performance, this is quite broad, but this is the whole crux of Leaving Cert P. So how do we get the best out of our athletes? So are they using psychological strategies? Are they using diet and nutrition are they training their training methods are they planning out the year and periodization that kind of thing so these are some really broad areas but um almost guaranteed to come up in some shape or form so i'd start with those areas uh, for my revision so once again thank you very much for watching uh, i wish you the best of luck in june and if you want to um get a package on exam revision, you can use the 2025 tips for 10% off. Uh, thanks once again for watching and very best of luck.